Hello everybody, this is Eric Carlin, your Walmart chef, and we are going to cook up two fabulous simple dishes today that are tasty, flavorful, and simple to do. It is hot out here. I love the weather. I want to get out. We're going to go on a picnic, so we're going to make something that you can pack on a picnic. Simple, quick, and easy, and we're going to be using some great products. But first, let me, let me tell you about all the products that we're using. The first thing you want to do is we're going to get the grass-fed, this is the market side grass-fed beef ribeye steak. Excellent product, great marbling, good value, and again, that's what we're going to start with. But I'm not going to cook a steak. I'm actually going to make kebabs. These are going to be some sweet, some smoky, and savory, simple kebabs using ribeye steak. That's the first thing. And then the ingredients that we're going to be putting together on this, and again, it adds all flavor. They're all great value products from Walmart, uh, starting off with that steak. Now, normally, like I said, I like to cook steaks. Just put it straight on the grill, but we're not going to do that. We're going to chop it up first. Now. You want to trim off some of the fat if you have to. I mean, to me, fat's flavor. But you want to trim off some of the fat and then go against the grain and slice it into chunks. Now, they don't have to be large chunks, just simple chunks because we're going to go down another cross cut down the middle of it just so we can make them, you know, simple and put them onto the kebabs themselves. So I'm going to give it one more cut right down the middle. And again, let's cut, chop that one up too. And again, what we're doing is trying to make them so they're bite-sized that could fit on the skewer itself. So to make this marinade first, and again, let's put all the steak in here. To make the marinade, it's real simple. We're gonna use a half a teaspoon. Now, if you want something hotter than that, go ahead and use a teaspoon, but I, beware, it's gonna be spicy. But we're gonna add half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Then we're gonna add a teaspoon of smoked paprika. You can use regular paprika, but I like the smoke because it brings a little bit more of the flavor out, especially when you grill it. Uh, it just brings it more roundness, more, you know, you know, more, I don't want to say smokiness to it, but a unique flavor uh, that's added to that with using that ingredients. The second one is the lemon pepper. Now, normally I would put salt and pepper, you know, kosher salt and black pepper, but we're gonna use lemon pepper because it does have the pepper flakes, but also it has that lemon, that uplift, that zest to it. It's gonna uplift it just a little bit, uh, especially when the marinade sits all together. The second thing is about three tablespoons of olive oil. And again, this is the uh, great value extra virgin olive oil. And again, you can use vegetable oil, olive oil, avocado oil, but I like to use uh, olive oil itself. So the, <laughs> the key part to this also is the barbecue sauce. Now, do you want something that's sweet, something that's savory? You, you can use your favorite barbecue sauce, but what I like to use is gonna be the, I just found this, <laughs> the Great Value Honey Barbecue. So it has a little bit sweeter than normal, but other than that, it adds great flavor, especially when you add all these three ingredients together into the marinade itself. So you're gonna do about two tablespoons of that, but then you're gonna need two tablespoons for it later just because we're gonna brush it over the kebabs itself while it's on the grill. So basically give all that mixed together. You can use a fork, I got gloves on. I mean, gotta keep it clean, keep it safe. And you wanna let all those flavors come together, mix together, and marinate. Now, the key is to this whole dish especially these kebabs and with any steak is you want to let it marinate you have to let it marinate for at least minimum of two hours i know we're going on a picnic and all that but if you can do it overnight it's even better so the longer you marinate the better but if you're in a rush two hours at minimum so let go from that so once that sits and magic of television <laughs> it's marinated so let's go ahead and still make those kebabs remember marinated for two hours if you can go 24 hours it's even better so all you want to do is take your kebab. You can soak these in advance. It's up to you. Um, it, 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 I've tried it both ways. It really sometimes doesn't matter. I mean, we're going to be putting this on a quick hot grill at about 375, and you're going to be cooking it for about two sides each, or two sides on each minute. So it, it can burn. It may not burn, but we're going to be cooking these so fast that more than likely they won't be burning. But basically, cup it in your hand, poke it through, and again, like that fat cap. Now remember, when you're making kebabs, you can always add other things to it, like corn, mushrooms, even shrimp, for example. But in our case today, just something simple and quick, we're gonna just add nothing to it except this excellent market-side ribeye product here. So you kind of get the picture on that one. And again, any other pieces, just flop it on there real quick. 
And if you have any questions, just you know, comment below and again, I'll answer them for you. Um, but other than that, it's, it's simple. It looks like that when you're done with it. Uh, you can see the seasonings, the spices, the glistening, as that's that olive oil that's in there. Uh, but again, we let this marinate overnight. It's gonna be awesome flavor. So we're gonna do a set that aside right now because I already have some on the grill. And remember I said you wanna keep those two other tablespoons of um, barbecue sauce, that honey barbecue sauce. The reason being is that once we put them on the grill and we cook them up, and you wanna put the grill about 375 to 400 again, you're gonna cook really fast on it. So basically, once you hear that sizzle, and let's go ahead and brush these up real quick. You wanna put them on there and let them sizzle for a minute. And then my barbecue sauce right here, the extra two ounces with it, you just wanna lightly brush it over the kebabs themselves. And again, the reason you wanna do that is because it's going to create a little tackiness and it's gonna get a little sticky. But other than that, once that barbecue sets on that ribeye, it actually seals in the flavor and everything else there is just delicious. So, I mean, you wanna go ahead and put those extra two ounces of barbecue sauce on those kebabs and let it cook for about maybe two more minutes after you've done two minutes on each side. So let's let that go for another two minutes or so and then we'll take them off. Now, the other piece that I wanted to make too is something that's simple for a picnic. Again, th these great products that we have from Walmart. And again, this is the keto chocolate trail mix. Again, simple. When we get done with the kebabs, we're gonna wrap them up, put them in the bag. These you can put in the bag or you can just put them in your pocket. Uh, they're that flavorful, they're that good, and it's that simple. And plus they're healthy, that's the main thing. But what we're gonna do is add this to a banana. We're gonna do grilled banana keto chocolate trail mix. So we're gonna take our banana and the key to getting this thing is, when you put it on the grill, you wanna make sure it actually stays on the grill and stays bottom side up. So I take a banana, shiny side down, and we're gonna make a kind of a vessel, a holding vessel, just so we can keep it on the grill itself. We're gonna take our knife, let's wipe that down, take our knife, and we're gonna slice down the middle. It doesn't really worry too much about that in there, but we're just gonna go down the middle and slice, not all the way through, the neighbors are out having fun, you can tell. And then I'm gonna take a spoon and I'm gonna kinda of gut the inside a little bit. I'm gonna scrape a little bit of it out. And the reason I wanna do that is I need that for a little bit of the topping and patting it down later. So once you created a little vessel or like a holding container, let's get this out of the way. Kind of a holding container for that. You wanna take your trail mix bag, really simple and easy, I told you. Rip it open, and then you could sprinkle it all on there, but I like to kind of like place pieces there because it has these little beautiful chocolate nibs in there. And again, it's so hot out here, they're starting to melt, but I'm gonna place them inside there, slowly, softly, just making sure we pack it in there with all that healthy nuts and healthy pepitos, peanuts, chocolate, all of that. And I'm gonna actually push it down inside we want to get it inside there. It ain't got to be pretty because we're about to top it with something else. Another great product from Walmart is going to be these mini marshmallows. I love these things. My son eats them all the time. So there you go. Mini marshmallows. And this is for him, actually. We're going to take these still and we're going to pop a couple of them right on top. Use your thumb. Don't worry about it. Just push them down in there. They'll stick some of the chocolate and then you can still bring back some of this banana and put it over the top. It's just gonna be super creamy when it comes out. And then even the bananas will sit on top of that as well. So now the other trick, when you get this, put some more banana in there. Other trick is that now, it'll technically sit like it is right now on the grill. And let's open this up because I remember, I'm gonna get these over here. Two minutes, look at that, looking really, really good. Put that there. And again, the trick on these bananas, these keto flavored bananas, is you wanna put it in the grill, top side up. And the reason we made that boat is so it can actually sit on the grill. You wanna cover it just a little bit. The chocolate's gonna start melting everywhere. And I also have another one that I just made earlier too. You're gonna put that in there. And basically, that is really it. And so you wanna heat that, and there's no time limit to it because again, we already have the uh, 
or the uh, grill at about 375, 400. Once you close it down, it's going to cook real fast. The marshmallows are going to melt, the chocolate's going to melt, and everything's going to be excellent. So to show you what these kebabs look like, there you go. It's excellent. It's simple. <laughs> great products, great value. Go to Walmart, get everything that's on the recipe. Look below. We're going to be posting that. Um, but other than that, it's, it's so much flavor in those things as well. And again, it's a picnic. And also, too, we even have some of the, the great value party pack, the chips. You take your chips, put them in the bag. You wrap these kebabs up, put them in your bag. You can take these keto chocolate trail mix, put them in the bag or put them in your pocket. Everything's good. Everything's fun, simple and easy. And again, just keep checking back uh, with all the Walmart chefs. We're creating some great recipes for you guys. Try to keep it real simple. And with that said, if you have any questions, post it below. I'll be, I'll be answering. Um, if you're looking for other recipes, just check everyone out. There's a lot of Walmart chefs creating some great recipes out there. So until then, I'll keep another recipe in my back pocket waiting for you guys uh, coming real soon. Thanks a lot.